still here? Welcome to my fifth year of bees. It is January 11th. It's a little bit windy, but it's 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow it's going to be in the 60s, but it's gonna rain all day. So today, while it's not raining, I'm gonna get into these hives, check food stores, make sure they have sugar on top of their frames. I'm gonna check the entrances to see if there's any uh, dead bees blocking the entrances and sweep them out. And we're also just gonna see if we have any dead hives because, you know, I'm not expecting everyone to be alive. If we've lost hives, we've lost hives. That's, that's the deal. But uh, today we're gonna to do our first check of 2020. Woo, they can use some sugar. All right, this is Cornelia Hive. I see a lot of uh, dead bees and some bee poop in here. This one looks a little messy. Yeah, we got dead bees at the top. A lot of living bees, but a lot of dead bees up there. There is a cluster. Huh. I don't want to disturb them too much. There's a lot of bees down below. I'm just putting them all back together. All right, not the healthiest hive right there, um, but there's not a lot to do right now in the middle of the winter. You know, there's still a lot of bees down below. Uh, there were a lot of dead bees on the top above in the sugar, but I'm gonna just leave them right now because I don't want to disturb the hive and open everything up. It's a little too windy. So that did not look really great, but there were a lot of bees still alive in there for sure. So all these bees hanging out up here on the cinder blocks. It must be a little bit warm up here. It's a warm day today and tomorrow, but temperature is supposed to be Arctic in about a week or so. It's going to be very cold here. All right, I'm just peeking in here. They look great. There's a lot of activity right here, and I can see food right there. Balboa looks fine. I'm skipping over the Russians because they have a ton of bees coming in out of the hive, and there's a double deep here. I know they got food, and Russians never run out of food. Lucy, Lucy's fine, holy cow. They're all underneath. Oh yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, they're fine under there. There's some dead bees on the top, but they're, they're not even on the sugar yet. Okay, so far, uh, five out of five. Oh yeah, looking fine, I see sugar right there. All right, six out of six. Just take a quick peek. Oh, there they are. Whoops. They're just huddled over to the side. They're humming in there. Humming. All right, that's nine. All right, now we're getting into uh, hives that I'm just not sure about. The back row. Not the, uh, not the resource size, but the back row here. This is kind of like the uh, minor leagues. Well, they're fine. You might need some sugar. They're okay. I'm not gonna disturb them. Definitely some moisture in this hive. But that means the Vivaldi board is working because it's all up here. So that's good. It's pulled out of the, the living space of the bees through that screen and up into the attic, not in the hive. This is my super swarmy hive from last year. It swarmed like three times or so, but they built back up before the fall, so hopefully they're okay. I just, I really love this system of being able to peek in without disturbing anybody. And that's because of that screen and the, the hole in the inner cover.
hopping. But you know what? I'm gonna actually open them up because they are really active up here and they may need sugar. Actually, they're, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna drop some sugar in here. This is a slamming hive. Holy cow. Back in action. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven hives. Eleven, eleven. Eleven of eleven. On January 11th. Okay, this was the last little swarm I caught in, uh, I think it was like August, maybe. Oh, it's warm. Holy cow. It's really warm in there. They are fine. Okay, yay. That is great news. Little teeny swarm hopping in there. You can just feel the heat coming out. Okay, this was the apple tree swarm which then got an Una Queen. And this hive was actually very strong going into fall. So we'll see what they're looking like now. Okay, I don't see any bees up here. This is the last hive, hive number 13. Oh, there's a living bee right there. Okay. I believe that Hive 13 is not alive. I don't see a cluster. There's bees in here, but they, they could just be in here robbing. Oh, maybe, nope, I'm wrong. There is a little cluster right here. There's a tiny cluster right there. All right, I'm gonna leave them alone. Um, it doesn't look good for this hive because it's so small, but there is a cluster right in the back really amazing results so far though overall. All right, I'm gonna peek in the resource hives quickly. I honestly don't expect any of these to be alive. I've never been able to keep a nuke alive over the winter and I, you know, I'm just not expecting them to be alive. So I'm just trying to soften the blow here. So these are double nukes. There's a nuke on each side and I wrapped them just like the other hives. Um, there's foam on the outside, there's the coroplast and they're divided down the middle with two Vivaldi boards. Burlap, same, same situation. Well, that side's alive. And there's a bee here. Yeah, whoa. They're humming in there. Okay. First two are not dead. This is good. There's actually a lot of activity flying around these hives, so they're all they're all out cleansing. I mean, look at all this poop everywhere. Here we go. Not I'm not confident about this side. I really don't want to open them all up, but all right, what the heck? Yeah, this they didn't none of them even came up to get the sugar. Oh, wait a minute. There's bees right down there. They just haven't come up. Yeah, there's a there's a cluster right there. I mean, it's they're tiny. It's a tiny little cluster, but there's a living bees right here. All right, so that's four nukes not dead. That's how I'm categorizing them. They are not dead. So far, four out of four. That's pretty amazing. Okay, out of all the hives I wrapped, these four nukes here are the weakest of the week. You know, and we're, we're not even, we're like basically middle of winter. There's still a long way to go. No activity there. Okay, I can hear activity. 
they're not coming up into the sugar because I think they just there's a lot of food down below so I don't see them up top like the all the big hives but I see bees coming out of here definitely this side is not dead this side I'm not sure about this side is a carniolan side so I'm, I'm I have high hopes for this side This was the absolute weakest hive I wrapped, so I, I, I doubt there even, there, I doubt there's anyone in there. There are bees right here, and there's, oh yeah, we got a cluster right here. This side is okay. This side is clustered, and there's tons of food. So, all right, this is positive. We have two out of these four look good. Two definitely don't look good. All right, so the nukes, six out of the eight are not dead. Um, two are probably not alive, but six out of the eight have little clusters. There's hope. I made this little tool. I just bent a piece of wire here to poke into the hives to, to pull out dead from the bottom. There's no bees piled up down here, so they're good. See, if you can see right into the mouse guard, there's not a pile blocking ventilation. Well, you don't want, you don't want bees to die and pile up in the front entrance. All my hives have an upper entrance, but if the lower entrance gets blocked, that affects ventilation going into the hive, so you got to keep this area clear. This is the one that looked weak. There's definitely a lot of dead bees here. Huge amount of death here. This hive is definitely not going to make it. I don't know what happened to this one hive. It's very sad when a hive dies, so I don't know. The, the cluster in there was very small. This is, a, this is a, more than half probably their population, so... I don't know if they're gonna stick it out, but they've got food in there if they do, and they're clear now. There's, they took a lot of the death out of the hive. So if it was a ventilation thing, now they got ventilation again. In a couple of months, we'll see what happens. Whoa, they're fine. Pretty, pretty big pile of dead bees in here. It looked good up top. Definitely some losses here. The back left hive. Another pretty big pile there. But I know they looked okay up top. So we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, January 11th, 58 degrees. 12 of 13 colonies alive, and six out of eight nukes are not dead. I will happily take those numbers. We are not out of the woods yet. It's gonna be 60s tomorrow, but raining all day, so any bees can get out and kind of, you know, smell the air, but they're not gonna be flying tomorrow much. Uh, but then we are hitting the Arctic blast is gonna come in and, and you know, we're gonna have winter. So uh, I don't know how long it's gonna last, but if we keep having odd days like this, you know, the bees can get out and cleanse. You know, we are in really good shape at this point of the year. So that's the news. Thank you for watching. And please go enjoy my barn build series, which is happening over on my channel. So check out those videos. They're coming out about once a week and I hope you enjoy them. Thanks so much for watching. Hope your bees are good.